Hey, how's it going? John Dorsey here with PassiveProsperityFormula.com And in this video, I want to talk about a free autoresponder for email marketing and that will be the Leads Leap autoresponder. Now, Leads Leap is a free to join platform and the autoresponder they have is free to use. And I know that's hard to believe and it's actually a good, probably one of the best free autoresponders there is on the market. Uh, so what they call the autoresponder is send steed. So if you were to sign up for a Leads Leap account, you will log in and I do have a video on how to set up your uh, Leads Leap account and explain going through this menu on the left, explaining all the different options and that I'll link to that in the video or in the description box. But what their auto what their autoresponder is called is send steed. And like I said, it's a powerful platform. It has good deliverability. And as you see, I have one list that already has 125 people in it. And this other list I've just started setting up. I've got to finish setting up the emails. But what you want to do, if you were to get an auto get an response on this platform, once you sign up, you would name your list. So let's say, well, let's just go through with one of these ones that popped up, which are just various. So let's say you have a travel business that you want to build an autoresponder for or a travel offer so you would make you know you'll make up a name for the for the uh list and now this lit name is just for your reference only this isn't a public name this will be just for your reference so i call this list luxury getaways and you click add now all right so you see you have the icon these this text here saying activate this list now before so what you want to do is there's a couple things you can do this brand name and logo or you can use an image now what this is this will be at the top of your email so if you had, let's say you will set up a newsletter you could put the, your branding at the top of every email me for what I'm trying to do I just leave this blank I just leave all this the way it is this up here now this redirect URL after verification so once a person signs up on your list where do you want them to go? So, if you, and this will be, if you sell an affiliate, if you're doing an affiliate marketing, you'll put your affiliate link to the product or service you're promoting in this box. So, after the person verifies, they will be redirected to this link. For this list, I would redirect them to the homepage of this luxury getaways offer. And here, you'll put your name. So, you could put your full name, you could put your first name and last initial. You know, it's a lot you can put your pen name, whatever it is, but you gotta put your name in there. Your email address. Now this has to be a valid email address. And for this to for, to, for maximum de deliverability, this cannot be a free email address, as in a Gmail, Hotmail, uh, Yahoo, email address this needs to be a email address of a domain you own and domains aren't expensive and I actually I put I will put a uh, link to a, a place where you can get a domain name if you don't have one already which are relatively cheap I mean for a whole year you can get a domain for like 10 bucks it just depends on the extent the domain extension whether it's a .com .net .org .info all those have different price points but what I would recommend if you can get it is yourname.com. So if your name is John Doe, you would try to get John Doe.com. And you obviously can't get John Doe.com. I mean, that's so common. But whatever your name is, try to get that name.com. And then you, you then you set up your email for, and then as you see, you can set up for support at John Doe.com, whatever it is. Once that's set up, you would get your send code for to the above email address for verification this will verify that email is legit now i'm not saying you can't use gmail i mean i don't know if you can or not i, I i've been doing email marketing a long time and i know that if you are doing email marketing from a gmail account chances are it will go right to spam so this is why you want to get a paid domain and it could be whatever you want to call it it could be called like if this is luxury getaways i can get luxurygetaways.com 
that domain and then set up my email on there like john at luxurygetaways.com because that makes you look more legit not only in the eyes of your followers or, or the eyes of your subscribers but also in the eyes of uh google or yahoo or these other big email uh providers as you see it says your real physical mailing address now this is part of a this is a federal law that you this address has to be real so don't try to now you can get a p.o box you can get a business address you can use your home address but it has to be a real address now don't worry about uh as you see as as this has legal implication fake address will result in your account being blocked from the service forever so don't try to put a fake e uh, address in here either and if you worried about your address being public check chances are no one cares okay no one was will come to your house <clears throat> you don't have to worry about that i've been doing email marketing a long time and i've always used a real address well i've used my business address i have a business address and i have a home address but i've always used a real address and never had a problem i don't get a bunch of junk mail and stuff like that so you don't have to worry about that you can set up an email signature and this will be attached at the end of every email so you can let's say you want to just signature to be uh you know of course it'll be your name john d oh let's say till next time john d oops geez. john d and then you could put a let's say you want to put a not a ps but let's say you want to put a quote at the end keep pushing you know that's something that i used to do all the time is always put a quote at the end of every email a motivational quote you can do something like that and that'll be attached to every email you also can do something like john d and you can put your, oops, your email address i mean your uh, website at the end you know i have various uh, websites and that's another way to keep people uh, uh connected with you or like i said you can leave that blank and just customize the signature on every email each individual email that's up to you whatever you want to do and as you see when you have the signature you can uh decide whether or not you want it to be attached to your welcome email your email series or, or just your broadcast so you have a lot of options with that then you would click activate list and make sure you read this i have entered a physical address that can read me including postal code and country and i will not send spam High yield investment programs, pyramids, Ponzi scam, obscenity, adult dating, gambling, or drug related content. So you read those terms, because of course we won't do those kind of things because we're building a legit business. Do uh, you click on save and activate? And then then you can start adding. Once this activated, then you can start adding your uh, emails. Now you have a welcome email. And then this welcome email is the first email people will get as part of your series. So let's say you want to set up a seven day email series or 10 day, 15 day, five day, two day, whatever it is, this welcome email is the first email introducing them to who you, not your business to you. Introduce people to who you are, what you're all about. I mean, you don't have to get too personal, but you know, just explain why why are you why are you trying to whatever you're doing why are you promoting luxury getaways why are you promoting a make money online program why are you promoting a traffic program why are you promoting your business opportunity make sure it's about you first introduce them them to who you are and then later in the email, email direct them to the offer that they signed up which will typically be a free offer that they signed up for so to redirect them to the free offer like whether it's a video or pdf or whatever they opted into your list to get and then redirect them via your free offer to this the offer to the, the the paid offer or service you're promoting the verification email also is sent on day one and this is a, a standard verification email saying uh, you just you just opted in verification needed so they get both of these email emails instantly on day one what's cool about leads leap 
is like with chat, like with AWeber and Git response, the person has to open the email and click on the link within the email for them to be verified. But with Leasly, all the person needs to do is open one of these emails, whether the welcome email or the verification email. They don't necessarily have to click on the links, they just need to open these. It's better if they click on the links, but they just need to open one of these emails and they'll be verified, which is very cool because that just saves a step because we know some people, you know, they just aren't good at following through, even with simple things. So once they are on your list, I mean, once they are verified and on your list, now you can set up your email series. Don't pay no attention to the list is not activated because I didn't activate this list because this is just 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 this is, this is just for demonstration purposes only. And what you want to do when you want to start adding your email series, you can do a couple things. If you have a share code, you will enter that here. So if you are affiliated with someone, if someone's referring you to Lease Leap and they have a share code, you enter that here. Or if you have a Lease Leap share code, you enter that here. And as a matter of fact, I will redirect you to a free marketing system that uses the Leadly platform and you get a free uh, marketing system which has share codes, email series, and lead capture pages that you can just plug and play into Leads Leap and that'll be in the description below. But you will enter that share code here. Don't worry about that one. That's the share code for this list, which doesn't exist. You will enter that share code here and then you would click, you know, once that's entered, you just follow the steps and that'll import that'll give you a couple options it'll actually if you want to overwrite an existing list or or attach that share code to an existing list so let's say you already have an email series and it's already let's say 30 emails in there most autoresponders will overwrite that series but what's cool about Leasley, that's why i like it so much is they give you the option you can either overwrite that 30-day series with this new series or you can add this new share code to your already existing series so it goes from 30 days to now you have another let's say you have a 10-day share code that you're importing you can, now it's a 40-day series which is very very cool so but let's say you're starting from scratch and you would have already set up your day zero email in that welcome email. So this will, this is the, the your day zero email. So that's like I said, this is already set up and you don't have to keep none of this. You can make this, customize this whole thing, of course. Or if you're very new, you can all, you can just fill in the blanks. Like this XXX, you would just put, you know, luxury getaways family or whatever you're promoting. And then as you see, it says, if you're giving away a free gift, here's, a, you know, of course, delete that. <laughs> but if this is saying, if you're giving a free gift, you, this is the, the text you want to use for, here's the download link for the product name. So if it's a free ebook or video or whatever it is, if it's a video, they're probably not going to download it. This is just to watch the video right here. And if you... You know, this is, gives you so much help. You know, just follow these prompts. So anything in between these tildes, of course, is just help text. So you want to make sure you delete that before you uh, save this email. Um, you know, introduce people who you are. Like I said, tell them what's going to happen over the next couple of days. Uh, and that's simply, simply it. And if you want, and then you also, and then. Once your welcome email is set up, then you can start your day one email. So the way Leasly works is it goes by number. So you day zero is your welcome email. Day one is the next day. So let's say you want to skip days. So let's say you got they got day zero and then they got day one, but you don't want to send them another email for uh say for the day after they get the second email. So you would go day three, all right? It'll skip skip day two. Let's say you wanna send one email a week. So if they got uh, day zero and day one, you would just count the days. So that'll be, you know, let's say every five days you wanna send an email. So that'll be, so you wanna send that next email on day seven. All right, so it'll skip five days, all right? That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> skip five days. 
and they'll get their next email on day seven. So just keep that in mind as you're building out your email series is if you want to skip days, you just skip, take the days by the number, you know. Uh, and it explains that here. And you'd also, you also can like do, you can like loop back. So let's say a person went through your 30 day series, you can pretty much start them from whatever day you want them to start from. Like let's say you want to start them back from day seven, then it'll just send start sending that that email series again, which is a very cool, it's a cool feature. Cause I mean, you figure your open rate on average, you know, even with a, even some of the best marketers, their open rate might be at the most thirty percent. So that means most people aren't opening your emails. So if you looping back, if you got a thirty day email series and you looping back to day seven, most people won't realize that's what happened. And by the time they went through a 30-day series, they want to remember getting that email anyway. And most people aren't opening every email. So, I mean, that's another very powerful feature. I mean, and this is free. That's what, like, that's what's crazy. So you would put your subject in there, cut your subject, put in your the body of your email. Now, this preview text is for when they see it in their email inbox, it'll give them a little bit of preview of what this email is about. You know, this could be like a few words or a sentence. Uh, this link to tag, you have to, I don't use this, so I can't, it's for pro members only. And I am a pro member, but I don't use this link to tag. So I, I can't explain how that works or what how that works or what it does. But I'm pretty sure it's cool. So, so once you got your email done, you click save and activate and save changes, or you just save as draft if, you, if you're not done and want to work on it more. And you just do that over and over again to all your emails that you have are set up if you're doing them one by one. But if you have a share code, you pretty much, the emails will be set up. You just have to, to import or edit the email to have your information because most share codes will have the information of the person you got it from. So it'll have their affiliate links. So you would have to change, change their share code, I mean, their emails to have your affiliate link. And that's uh, setting up your email series. Uh, and let me show you what, these are two of my email series right here. As you see, this is how it's laid out, what it looks like. Here's a email series. This is the one I'm still working on. This one right here, this has zero people on it. But this one is the other list that I already have. And just to prove that this has deliverability and people are opening the emails and they are clicking on links, here's like my first, my day zero email is sent to 145 people, 28 people opened it and seven clicked. So as you see, the fact that people were able to open it means they got the email. So that shows you the, the, the deliverability is there. And the numbers haven't went down much since as far as uh, the percentage wise opening my emails. So, you know, a lot of people haven't got this far yet down here, but so yeah, that's the email series broadcast. I haven't sent the broadcast yet, but this is where you would do that. You know, you add a new broadcast and pretty much just like, a, just like you set up any other email, you know, you do your dates and times, uh, you can repeat the broadcast. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do that. Like I said, I haven't sent the broadcast yet, but you can repeat the broadcast every five, every three days. Wow, that's that's cool. You can pick the list. That way you don't have to do it. Like my issue with broadcasts is I'm I'm just not good at keeping up with them. You know, because I'm so busy. But that's why I like to set up an email series. But the fact that you can set up a broadcast to repeat, you know. Now, let's say you have a webinar that's let's say you get a, a webinar that's every Wednesday um, and you want to send an email telling people about that broadcast uh, that webinar on Tuesday or Tuesday night Tuesday evening and then every Wednesday morning or every Wednesday morning they, you tell them about the, the webinar which would probably actually be better because you know people forget you can set this broadcast to pretty much repeat that every week without you having to remember it and that's yeah 
That's another cool feature. I'm learning stuff while I'm doing the <laughs> this video. All right. Now, something else cool that you could do with uh, these, this free autoresponder with Leadsly is you can add, so if you have a blog, you can add your RSS feed to this platform. And then this will email your list, your new your newest blog posts. And you can like you could choose the list you want to go to. You could choose to send it automatically, or you just want to create it and don't send. So let's say you got an RSS feed, and it's that gets imported into, into Leadsly, and you can decide what to, when when to send it, or you can just have it automatically sent. So let's say you post something to your blog once a week, that'll automatically go to your list also, which is basically traffic right there to your blog. Here's YouTube to broadcast. So you have a YouTube channel which I did set this up as you see you can every time you upload a video it will uh, import the list to Leadsly and then as you see I got my auto send set to no but you can like if I run this right now it's like we'll ex executing this to you this YouTube to broadcast like when you run this, it'll fetch the feed from your YouTube channel and import those videos. And then you can send that video to your list as a broadcast, which is also pretty cool. And I guess that's basically instant traffic to your videos. That's instant traffic to your blog. I mean, what more could you ask for from... Now, some of these features, like I said, this is a free uh, autoresponder. But as you saw, there are features that are reserved for pro members, which requires an upgrade. But you can use, you can, you can do, you can set up your list, and you can email your list and collect email addresses and email your list with the free stuff. I'm thinking, yeah. See, the, the this is pro only. These blog broadcasts and YouTube broadcasts. These are pro only features, but the upgrade isn't. I mean, I have an Aweber. I've been I had an Aweber autoresponder. And with the list I had at that point, I'm paying $29 a month. And uh, as that list got gets bigger, I have to pay more and more money. But with Leadsleep, it's free. And if you choose to upgrade, I'm not sure what it is because when I upgraded, I got a discount because I upgraded when there was a special. But I'm paying like $19.99 a month, $19.90 a month, something like that. But I think it's twenty nine dollars a month. I'm not sure, but whatever it is to upgrade, because I'm getting a discount. So don't don't quote me because I'm getting a discount. But it's only it's very 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 affordable for all the tools you get. And like I said, I'm a link to my tutorial that goes through all the tools and features that this has. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you got some value out of it. But this free Leasley autoresponder, and I hope you see the power in it. All the things I mentioned, I'm going to put below the various links, the share code, the, where you can get access to the uh, the share codes, the autoresponder, the marketing system. Uh, that'll be below this video. If you have some value out of it, like, share, subscribe to get more content like this. And I'll talk to you again soon.